Good afternoon, Facebook, friends and family. It's another edition of Your Real Estate News with the superstar lender, Chad Levine, and my special guest today, Brian Reed of Beach Homes Real Estate down at the Jersey Shore. What's up, B. Reed? What's going on, guys? I'm actually with Long and Foster, but that's like my oh, uh, that's your superstar thing? lender. Right. Is, that's, <laughs> that's my... Uh, you know, that's my tag, Brian Reed Beach Homes and the Beach Homes team. So all my all my teammates, you know, when I do all of my kind of my hats and my shirts, it's the Beach Homes team because it doesn't need to be Brian Reed. I'm not the center. It's the whole team. You know, you're getting us all. So I have Colleen Johnston Beach Homes, uh, Tony Fluarty, or uh, Jill Fluarty Beach Homes, Tony Lynn Charlesworth Beach Homes. So they they all get added to that as well. So, you know, I wouldn't be anything without them. And, um, you know, it's just the truth. Uh, we're, we're, we're really a, a unit. It's pretty cool. I love, I love what you've done, man. You, you are, you are by way, by far and away the most, uh, I guess, well-seen uh, force in the Jersey store real estate area. And that's from a, from a perspective of someone who beaches down there and continually, continually watches the activity down there, but doesn't necessarily live down there. So you guys are, as far as online marketing goes and social media goes, you're the strongest force I see by far. So I haven't missed a day since November 1st, 2016. Crazy. Yeah. And, and I've, you know, I've kind of just really took it to a different level. Everyone posts on Facebook now as a realtor. I was made fun of when I first started doing it. But I just posted, and you'd seen that um, huge Victorian. I posted. I have over yeah. eighty thousand views of that, wow. and only ten of them, ten thousand of them, were non-organic. So seventy thousand organic views, and and that's what my clients are seeing, and that's why they're listing with me. I mean, wow. if they're seeing me, and they're seeing my listings, they know I'm going to get their stuff out there as well. Wow. Yeah. I mean, honestly, man, I'm I'm excited. So. Part of the, uh, it's funny, when I think of people I want to talk to, I, I feel like I get motivated. Like, I can't wait to get down the shore. I have this itch. And as soon as I felt that itch, I'm like, I got to call Brian. I got to get him back on the show. So I know it's hot everywhere, obviously, right? It's hot. It's crazy. Things are flying off the shelf. Uh, give us an idea. I know that you and I talked earlier about coming up with some statistics. Give us an idea of what's going on down there from like a data perspective. So, you know, KMA County has 638 active listings. Back in the day, 2005, 2008, that would be 2,100. You know, so, you know, we had year to date in the county, 320 sold. Um, you know, I'll give you a, a quick example. There was a listing listed, top floor. I'm not going to go into too much details because everything's not closed, but a listing was listed for 625,000, a three bedroom, two bath. It just sold for 645, 30 days later or somewhere in there. So I had the task of listing another one in the building, a little bit nicer in the top corner. So I said, you know what? 25, 20, $25,000 more is probably where it should be. Three cash offers over $700,000. Wow. And Jeez. it's, you know, two years ago, that property would have been probably 500. Wow. You know, wow. so, you know, maybe 550 and it's just really taken off. And, you know, I sit there and I talk to you know, other realtors in the area. You know, I've been doing this 16 years. So you get a lot of, um, you know, camaraderie and someone called me and said, hey, Brian, you're one listing. I just want to let you know, um, you know, I just saw one in the area. You know, I, we went for, you know, asking price or, you know, whatever it is, you know, and. I'm like, oh, my God. I said, I would have thought that was overpriced. They're like, me too. And all of a sudden, it goes for asking. And uh, it's almost insulting when you get a, you know, when you think you price the property correctly, and now you're getting agents that are bringing in under asking. And I'm like, <laughs> I, what, what do you, like, I don't know. Oh, my gosh, you want to do inspections? They're not cash? <laughs> They're not putting 25 to 50% down? So, you know, and that's the hard part for a lot of agents right now. Buyers agents, you know, I'm there's some really well respected agents that I know that are primarily buyers agents who've done maybe two years ago did 50 units. Mm -hmm. Last year they might have done 30. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, that's because you're going up against five, six other offers. And what we do is a little bit different. I'll receive offers on my listings and I didn't even know they were coming. I don't get a question of, hey, you know, what do you think about, you know, uh, this closing date or what are they looking for? You know, what would make my offer the strongest? And that's where myself and my team dig deeper. We win more bidding wars, many, many more high percentage than probably every other agent out down here. Mm. Um, it's because one, a lot of people know they have to come back through me, but I ask all the permanent pertinent questions of the agent that I can, you know, without, you know, um, giving up too much information that they're not allowed to, you know, but there's other ways and I don't want to give every tip and trick because there's other realtors <laughs> in my area, but there's been proven methods that I've used to take the property right off the market. And, um, you know, so, you know, I also, you know, tip up some other people that, you know, hey, there's properties coming to the market and they do the same for me. It's yeah. just a matter of respect. So. Hmm. And I know you have some numbers we spoke about earlier. Do you have those near you so you can spit those out? I do. I'm, yeah. I'm looking at them. So like, yep. if you see me looking to the side. Yeah, that's okay. I, I just wanted, I really wanted to go up the coast, starting yeah. with Cape May. There's 40 homes listed right now, actively. Hmm. The median sales price, I'm going to go median sales price on each mm -hmm. one of these, so I don't have to repeat myself. 40 properties for sale in all of Cape May for $1.2 is the median sales price. Wow. You go up to Wildwood Crest, and the median sales price is 49 units. That number skewed a little low because there's a lot of new condo conversions where they take them mm -hmm. from motels, and they're $250,000 to $350,000 units. That median sales price is five ninety five. If you got rid which of those crazy, bedrooms, which is crazy, like for the for that area, that just it's just amazing the growth and the value that it's yeah. unbelievable. There's unbelievable. still a lot of value in Wildwood Crest. Um, yeah. It's it's shocking, um, and then Wildwood proper. There's 65 units. You know, hmm. there's yeah, it's only 1.78 square miles, but there's that many more properties. There's condo conversions. The median sales price in Wildwood is just under five hundred thousand at four ninety nine, wow. which is massive. And what's happening there is there's a lot of new single families that are going up, and side by side townhomes that are still affordable in that five fifty to six hundred thousand dollar range for mm. a four bedroom, two and a half bath. North Wildwood, which is probably the hottest area, a lot of Philly cops, a lot married to Philly nurses down in that area. Median sales price is six and a quarter. Wow. And only 30 wow. units are currently available in hmm. all of North Wildwood. So, and then we we start we start going up the the coast, and you hit Stone Harbor, yeah, primarily yeah, single yeah. families. Can Stone I take Harbor a guess? Can I take a guess? Well, on price, Stone Harbor yeah. skewed low. Stone really? Harbor skewed low because there's some two bedrooms that are in the 600 range, <laughs> but 20 units in Stone Harbor median sales price is 2.2. 1.795. Close. Is, you know, usually that number is a lot higher in Stone Harbor. Yeah. There's right now there's a bunch of listings. If you looked at sold prices, it would be much higher. Now Avalon has 29 units. This one's gonna blow you away. Stone Harbor and Avalon are normally close. Yeah. But your entry point to Avalon right now is crazy. Avalon has a lot of fingers where they're tearing down two, three million dollar properties. So Avalon's median sales price for active listings right now with 29 units on the market. Do you want to take a guess? I mean, you're drumming it up. Is there a three in front of that? 3.195 on active oh. listings. <laughs> then you're next going up the road. It's Sea Isle. There's 46 units. Wow. Most of those are new construction. And Sea Isle is kind of one of those spots where if you see an old house go listed for sale you better call the buying agent because it's going to be two townhomes and right. those are typically sold prior to 46 units for sale in seattle 1.4 million now you have wow. to remember so 1.4 million is, the entry in seattle now correct wow not the entry but the median sales price for I would say the average home of what you know the, the Sea Isle the Sea Isle townhome is up there now. So here's what we're seeing. Wow. Right. 
Stone Harbor is 1.795, but that number is probably median sales price of, of mid twos, right? Yeah. So what you're seeing is people going and buying land in North Wildwood for six to 700, maybe overpaying for a 50 by 100 lot, building a brand new single and having in, in North Wildwood a $1.5 million home yeah. uh, that they would be paying two and a half to three million in Stone wow. Harbor. Wow. And the same with Sea Isle. You have Avalon. Your entry point is 3.195 or a median sales price. You can go get a six-bedroom, four-and-a-half bath, six-bedroom, five-bath in Sea Isle. So you're seeing people jump. Cape May is going to Wildwood Crest, Stone Harbor to North Wildwood. North Wildwood and Wildwood Crest, who swore they were never going to Wildwood because of all the new construction, are going into Wildwood. Avalon to Sea Isle, you know, and... Um, what you're also seeing is people going offshore and meaning just off the causeways or mm. going into Cape May courthouse, you know, you have developments and you can buy eight, $900,000 house. That's 3,500 square feet, five bedrooms, three and a half baths. And look, you take a day trip in, it's 10 minutes going in, in the bridge and you're at the beaches and you're paying that much less. And, um, Dude, this yeah, is crazy. This is almost like a virtual reality. This is crazy. So, like this, this is crazy. I mean, does it like uh, it, you seem unaffected because you're so into it? Like because you're just livid, dude. It's insane. Like these numbers, so, are like crazy. And lack of inventory out there. Yeah, and and again, here's the difference, right? So, 320 units have been sold year to date. Um, we have, let's see, we've, we've sold 16 so far this year, like closed for 12.7 million. And we have 19 Holy more under crap. contract for 11 million. And I have three, 16, wait, 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 16 6. units, 16 units for 12.7. You're almost a million a unit. So that's skewed a little bit because the one was a hotel, three million. I got both wow. sides. Yeah, now, I'm not gonna let you know lie. And then <laughs> 19, Nineteen more under contract for eleven point one, which is, you know, pretty much you know more around the the realistic numbers. And um, you know, you look at it. We're at thirty five units sold year to date in Cape May County. All of Cape May County is three hundred twenty units. Wow. So. You know, we have 35 and that just goes to show you, I mean, for me, most of my sales come from listings. I'm a heavy listing agent. I sometimes end up getting both sides of them. You know, I deal with referrals direct and uh, my team is set up. You know, uh, I have different methods of, of getting leads and all those leads go directly to um, my team members. And wow. um, so, you know, I don't I don't take too many. And it's weird, man. Like, you know, all I do is Facebook. Yeah. I don't cold call. I don't do uh, mailings. I don't do open houses. Uh, people are like, how do you do your business? I'm like, Facebook. And they're like, but how? I'm like, you got to dig deep. You really, really do. What I'm doing yeah. is, is a little different. So, Wow. Well, my hat's out to you. I, I got to say is to all the naysayers that discounted the shore, I don't know, two decades ago or a decade ago, I guess you're saying I told you so. <laughs> It's, it's crazy. And, and a lot of people are like, well, I'll wait till the rates go up and the prices come down. You're going to actually pay more for the home. I mean, you're a oh, mortgage yeah. guy. You know that, right? Yeah. So the, yeah. the other thing is, well, there's going to be a lot of foreclosures. Here's what I will tell you is I lived through 2005 to 2009, right? There's a difference. People were putting down no money on a home, 5%, mm -hmm. 10%. Mm -hmm. Let's just say, all right, let's take me for an example, right? I bought a home in North Wildwood as a rental for about three ninety five, a block mm -hmm. or so to the beach, mm -hmm. in July of two thousand nineteen. Mm -hmm. So we're not even two thousand twenty. Sorry, we're oh, not 2020. even at twenty twenty. Wow, we're not even at two. Two years will be this July. I've rented it now, and it all pays for itself. If I were to relist that property, I would get 550 for it. And so from let's call it 400 to, to 550. So even if I put no money down on that house and I didn't make one payment. So let's just say my mortgage payments, $2,000 a month, and let's call it 24 months. Mm -hmm. 
and let's tack on. So that's forty-eight thousand dollars. I'd be in the rears. Plus, let's call it twenty thousand in penalties, right? Yeah. So seventy thousand, I would still be able to sell, pay commissions, put forty, fifty thousand dollars in my pocket, wow, and get out clean. Wow. If you bought last year, you're probably up twenty percent. So five hundred thousand dollar house, hundred thousand dollars in equity, you get your money back. Plus, you can you can get out. All you have to do is list it. You list your property, you're going to get out clean, and to be honest with you, if you bought six months ago at the end of the season and need to put it up this spring, you can get out clean. Yeah. You know, people have lost jobs. They've gotten divorces. Don't be afraid to give me a call and say, like, look, I'm in a situation I have to sell rather than think it's going to get better. Get out clean now. And, and you really can. <laughs> you could have. I right, said, so take that example. Someone who bought for six forty five could probably get seven hundred, and they just closed a week ago. Wow, that's insane, man! I I could sit here <clears throat> sit here and talk to you for hours because I'm I'm my mind's blown. But all I yeah. can say is, to me, there's one guy to call. So if you are interested in the short house, we're probably already late. But Brian knows. I mean, no one knows the shore like this guy. No one knows the shore like this guy. Thank you for the update. I'm going to check back in in a couple months if you have time. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, like I said, just, uh, you know, you got to give me the reminder a day before and I can always hop on somewhere <laughs> and, and talk to her. You know, listen, I prepped for this, uh, you know, an hour ago. You know, yeah. so. You're the man, Brian. Much love, buddy. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, guys. Take care. All right, everyone. Have a good weekend. See you again next week. Peace.